so we're starting feeling. So like I said, some messaged me on um, Facebook. It was not two days ago, so that I should, uh, whether he has no idea of the stock market. So, What's he's watching the big brother. Are you guys, can you guys listen? What is you? Who is watching Big Brother? T Ken. Ken, can you tell everybody, please? Just meet everybody, please. Okay, I'll meet everybody. Your Go on, we're here. Go on. Okay, I've already met everybody. So. Okay, Oracle, you want to say something? You are raising up your hand. Okay, so, like I said, I'll just give a brief introduction of what the US stock market is. Okay, can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? So I'm saying I should speak up. Can you guys hear me? Okay, you can hear me, thank you. So I'm just going to give a brief introduction of, or a, just a brief description of what the US stock market is all about and the reason why you should invest in it just to give a brief start, you guys will have an idea about it because most people, not, don't let me say most, but many people, once they hear stock market or generally Nigerians, once they hear investments, the next thing is ROI. How much am I getting in return? How much am I getting in return? And that has made many, many people to be um, at the wrong end of investment scam because everything just ROI, ROI, but they don't really have an idea of what this investment is all about. So I'm going to give a brief description of what the US stock market is about. And um, let's say how you can start, just a, just a brief roundup, just to allow everybody, for the sake of those who have no idea, so they have an idea of what it's all about. Then I just give a brief description generally. Then um, maybe we'll now reach the question questions. Because like I said, it's just more of a discussion. I have no topic in mind. And I'll talk will be yet to like <laughs> 11 and everything. So which I don't want to waste you guys time and everything. So. I'm just going to more like a question and answer. What's your thought? Like what you have in mind to ask and everything. This opportunity to ask the question. So going ahead, let me just start. So the stock market is like a typical market. So for those of us who are in Lagos, you know of um, my 12 market. For those who stay in Lagos, my 12 market is a popular food market. That's where they buy food, like anything food stock, that's the general market. Then we have um, Oshodi, in Oshodi, Ladipo. So that is where you have spare parts, like any spare parts, like a vehicle market, spare parts and anything you get there. Then if you go to Marina, Marina is on the island, that is um, Mandela's and Co. That we have clothes, bags, fabrics, suits, and everything. So look at the stock market as a market where you trade, no, where you buy. You buy and you sell shares of companies. So that's the meaning of the stock market in the simplest form. Just like when you go to my 12 markets where they sell tomato, onions, and co, there's a buyer and a seller. Someone is buying tomatoes, someone is selling pepper and everything at different prices. 
the same thing as mandalas. If you go to buy shoe or shoe or bags, there's a bar, there's a seller, there's a whole lot of activities. So in the stock market, it's a market where you buy and sell shares of companies. So there's some places that you would hear, especially if you watch news, at times you would hear them say, talk about equity markets. So it's the same thing. Equity, shares, and stock, they mean the same thing. They mean the same thing. So you can hear some people saying equity market is the same thing as stock market. Yes, shares is the same. They are all the same thing. So what is shares in generally? Or what is shares and everything? So it's just a piece of a company. So example now, popular companies, Apple. You cannot buy Apple. You cannot buy the company, but you can own a piece of the company. So let's say we have the uh, Apple, the fruit, the main Apple fruit, example now. All of us, we may not be able to buy the one Apple itself, but we can have a piece of Apple. So I cut Apple into maybe 30, I'm in, the, in this meeting, okay, we are 21. So I cut the one Apple into 21 pieces then I give everybody 21, 21 pieces. So even in as much as you don't have the entire apple to yourself, at least you have a part of apple. So even if you eat only that one, though it is small, at least you've tasted apple. You know what it tastes like. You know what it smells like and everything. So it's just a piece of the entire fruit. So that's just it. So let's say the entire apple fruit is maybe um 10,000 uh, for example and I now split it into 20 so maybe I'm selling it for 200 a piece so I give each person take 200 take 200 take 200 so that's just it you are having a piece of the entire food the entire um apple fruit so that's just what the stock market is all about there are stock markets in almost every major com countries in the world you have the Nyan stock market you have the london stock market you have um ghanaian yeah ghana stock market you have us Can canada and so many countries so the most popular and the largest is still us the us stock market that's like the world's financial headquarters you want to look at um the health of the global economy you look at the us stock market because in a way, what is happening in the U.S. stock market is a reflection of what is happening in the entire world. Because the U.S. as a country itself, they are the largest country, both economic-wise and military. Like, they are world power. Let me just put it that way. U.S. is world power, so they control so many things. That's why in um, 2008, when the, there was a crash, it affected the whole world. In 2020, when there was a crash, it affected the world and everything. So that's just a brief description of stock markets. Stock market is where you have shares of companies. So so many there are thousands of companies in the stock market. So they list their companies, the shares there. Just for example, like I said with the Mandilas, the for those in Lagos, the man market where they sell clothes and everything. So in the entire the land mass of the market, you have different shops and everything. This person is selling this, this person is selling that. So people come, they register, they um, maybe there's a market, um, um, all these market head or something. So you register, you are there, you have your own shop and everything. So whoever wants to buy it comes to your shop, something like that. So in the stock market, <clears throat> you have different companies in different sectors. You have Apple, Amazon, Tesla, Google, Facebook, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, so many companies in different industries. You have them there. Now, how do you, um, why is it important? Let me put it that way. Why not Nigerian stock market? Why US? So like I said at the beginning, I hope you guys can hear me, please. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Can you guys hear me, please? Okay. People says you can hear me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
just want to be sure I'm not talking to myself. Okay. So one of the reasons why is that the US is the largest generally. So they are the largest and they are the best. typically. And one of the major, the major reasons why you should invest in the stock market, US stock market, is because of the currency factor. That is one of the major reasons. Okay, can the first one here? Yeah, yeah, and what happened? Do you want to say something? Yeah, raising up your hand, can they? Do you want to ask a question? Don't you ask questions? So I don't know. Oh, so, where did I stop? Please, where did I stop? Please, where did I stop? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no, I can remind me where I stop. Okay. Why US? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Favor. Thank you. So, why US stock market and not Nigeria? One of the major, like the biggest factor is the currency factor. That is the dollar factor. That is the one of the biggest main because it's almost irrelevant. Not like people, there are people that make money from Nigeria stock market, though. Don't get me wrong. There are people that make their money there. There are people that invest there and are making their money. Fine, good for them. Glory be to God. But for me and my household, we shall not invest in Nigerian stock markets. Why? Because of the currency factor. You are investing in, you are earning your money in Naira. You are investing in Naira and you are spending in Naira. That is triple suicide. Triple suicide. For those who joined from Facebook or for those who are just in my Facebook post. For the last two or three days, I've been talking about the currency, how it is devaluing and everything. And one thing with Nigeria, as everyone knows, what goes up doesn't come down. What goes up goes up like that. As it's going up, that is a new level of base. It's just going up. So it will not come down. So Naira is becoming less valued day by day, day by day. Just this morning, just this morning, dollar was 560. Just this morning. As at this evening, it is already 570. You can see now. So that's one of the major factors, the currency factor. Naira is, let's just say it is useless in a way. So imagine you earning in Naira you are not investing in Naira to get returns in Naira and you are spending in Naira. No, it's not good enough. So it's better, the least, the least, the least is to earn in Naira. You invest in dollars and maybe spend back in Naira. There are some people that are making money in dollars, like in terms of source of income, cash flow is in dollars, good for them. But if you cannot earn in dollars, at least, invest in dollars at the very least. So you earn your money in Naira, whether paid job, career or business or skills, maybe you're a copywriter, uh, maybe athlete marketer or whatever you are doing to make money. Fine in Naira, but invest it in dollars and you can now spend back in Naira. So that's one of the major factor, the currency factor. That's why the US stock market is better. Now the US stock market is not the only stock market, it's not the only foreign stock market you can invest in. But at the moment, that's the, yeah, that's the market that is easily accessible for Nigerians. There are some people that I know, okay, I mean this one bamboo telegram group. So there are some friends I have there that they invest in London stock markets, that is UK stock market. Fine, because they have the platform. It is more like an international, that bamboo is more like an open international um, group. So people from anywhere can join in as well as you have bamboo app and everything. So there's a people that they have access to other 
investment platforms that makes them to invest in London stock market. Good for them. They have the platform. But for Nigerians, we don't have it as at now. Even the US stock market is, I don't want to say it's a miracle that we have, but it's just, we are just having the access in the past two or three years that we just have the access. So maybe as things unfold, maybe these platforms themselves or other people would come into the market and give us access to buy stocks of London markets and whatever. But as of now, it's only US that we have. So that's why I'm, focused, I'm focusing on that. And that's what, why I teach that and everything. So that's one of the major factors why US stock market are not in Nigeria because of the currency factor. The other factor is the market is larger. Like I said, it's the largest. So you have more opportunities. You can make more profits and so many other opportunities. So that's about that. Now, Israel would stop before asking questions. But it's just more of a question and I want to give a brief rundown. So there are four major platforms you can use to buy shares in the US stock market. The most popular bamboo. Bamboo. Then you have trove. You have chaka. You have trove. You have chaka. Then you have passfolio. But the most popular is bamboo and everything. So, so you can use that for whichever platform. There's no got no <laughs> you can use as far as you are making your money but it's bamboo I use so if anybody asks me that's what I would recommend bamboo is not paying me and everything but it's what I use and this is why I recommend it is easier to explain because I don't use troops so maybe if you're having any issue I can't direct you on where to click or what to do because I'm not using but I'm using bamboo so if maybe you're having any issue I can easily explain that okay Press this, press that, press that, because that's the app I use. So that is why I do like I'm being paid. I wish Bamboo would pay me, Sha. I've been recommending people since they don't pay me. So that is by the way. So uh, minimum you can use on, you can start with on Bamboo is $20. That is the minimum, $20. And with today's exchange rate, $20 is about, I think, 11, between 11 k and k So that is the minimum that is allowed but for me if you would ask me that what should i start with i always advise people this is just my own personal opinion start with at least hundred dollars at least hundred that's my own opinion no bamboo the minimum is 20 but i always like because starting with 100 gives you a kind of debate like it gives you um a kind of edge at worst 50 dollars that is just my own recommendation. Start with 100. It makes things easier for you and better for you. You have more options. But if you don't have $100, start with. Um, okay, edge. This is what I mean by edge. In the sense that you are starting with $20 and you are starting with $100. $100, whatever stock you buy, you would have better returns than $20. Let me give a practical example. So let me use your name that you ask, um, Olori. Okay, are you a queen? Okay, so let's say I started or I use $100 to buy a stock and Olori uses $20 to buy the same stock. So two of us, we bought the same stock at the same time. I used $100, she used $20. Now that stock gave us 50% return. 50% return and two of us sold at the same time. We bought at the same time, we got the same returns and we sold at the same time, 50%. Our profit will it be the same thing? I must guess. Will our profits be the same? Will our profits be the same? No. Why won't it be the same? We got 50% return the same way. So why is our profit not the same? Everybody say no, why is it not the same? 
Okay, Aya Startup. Who else? Based on because of the capital involved, another person, final person. More returns. more return because we got the same percent. Oh, hey, the more money invested. Thank you. So I used hundred dollars. Olo reused twenty dollars. We got the same fifty percent. So fifty percent of twenty dollars is ten dollars. Fifty percent of hundred dollars is fifty dollars. So at the end of our investment, I made fifty dollars. Olo just made ten dollars. But it's the same stock we bought. The same return and everything. The reason is the capital or the money involved. So even in as much as the barrier to entry is low, you cannot do magic, except if it is Forex or crypto that you can use leverage in stock market. Not like you cannot use leverage in stock market, but with the platforms available, is the platform available, with the platform available, we cannot leverage, cannot use leverage. So is the exact amount we have that you would use without have sophisticated apps that can help you leverage without have meta trader for a five for forex without finance and other things so there's no room for leverage so the same exact amount we use that's what you would get and everything so i made 50 dollars she made just 10 and it's the same amount we use so in as much as the um start of capital or the barrier to entry is low you don't need to have five million or ten million this is the state that you need big money before you can start you can start with low money but still the more money you have the better your chances so that's why i my own personal recommendation start with at least hundred dollars that's about 56k or so before it was fifty thousand so it's 56k or so or if at all fifty dollars but if it is 20 there's no problem money is money profit is profit but that's my own recommendation so let me stop here for now let me unmute or so you can ask your question i'm done talking so if you want to ask okay so you can unmute your mic and ask your question like I said, it's a question and answer session. So, because if I, if I keep on talking, we are not going to sleep. So, it's your question that will help the rest because of the discussion. Okay, Mr. Dele, um, ask All your right. question. All right, sir. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, good evening, sir. Thank you so much for yeah, good the session. Oh, yeah, my question is, um, Based on your recommendations and everything you have explained, um, I want to ask, so do we have a limitation or do you have a gap in government for one particular point? Limitation as well. As in, okay, when an investment is made now, do we have an expectation of okay, maybe in the next one month, this is going to be a one month or a six months, so what is the range of investment in, in process or in working? Okay, okay. We, Thank you. We have, we have an, um, the return, as you said. So okay. Like okay. okay. Uh, I can uh, um, understand your question now. So there's no, how will I put this? There's no timeline. That is, it's, wait, please, can you meet your mic so that, um, I'll give it to others can you hear me. So there's no timeline. Now, if you're investing in maybe real estate, like all these real estate companies, they will give you a timeline that okay, maybe um 12 month investment package, maybe 18 month investment package. So let's say maybe 12 month investment package is let's just say 35 percent return. So you put your money after 12 months, you get 35 percent. It is fixed and it is defined, more like salary. This fix is defined. The one is just to come to come to the office, do your job, and you go back home. By the end of the month, you have your salary, maybe hundred k. But someone that is doing business, that's an um, entrepreneur, there's no fixed amount. Today, this month, you can make hundred k. Next month, you can make six hundred k. The following month, you can make just fifty k. So there's no difference. It is advisable to think 
long term. That is like the general advice because there is always volatility in the market. So stocks will be up, it will be down, it will be up, it will be down and everything. But when you spend time in the market, it would kind of, you kind of have a balance. So if you think, because you are investing in companies, I forgot to say this. So stock market is actual companies. You know, like I said, you are trading the shares of companies. So it's actually business that you are investing in. You are investing in a company. And companies take time to grow. The Apple that everybody wants to invest in now, the Facebook that everybody is rushing now, these companies have been there for years and everything. So it takes time to grow, any company. So it is not magic that ah, you start up a company and tomorrow you are already cashing out, making crazy amounts. No, it takes time. And most times the stock price usually reflects the growth of the company. So it's not like you cannot see return. It is not defined. There are some, it depends, one, it depends on the um, nature of the market or the economy. So you have the bear market, you have the bull market. So bear market is when things are not going on well, like things are not rosy, stocks are down, the economy is not really good and everything. Then in the bull market, everything's going up. For those who usually hear this popular um, phrase, to the moon, everything's going up, stocks are rallying, they are making good returns and everything. So the returns that you get, it depends on one, the type of stock you buy, because there are stocks in different sectors, in different industries. So how a sector performs will be different from how a another sector performs. So like now, since we're in a pandemic period, most times vaccine stocks would kind of do well because these companies are producing vaccines for, to, um, to vaccinate people for the COVID and everything. So there's more demand for their products. Countries are that opposed to so making sales and everything. The popular um, vaccine company, Moderna, for those who follow me on Facebook, you would have seen me rant about Moderna before that I kind of complained about it. So as at last year, around November or so, Moderna was about $90. It was around $90. Just last month, that was August. At a point in August, Moderna was 500 Now it is around 400 and something. Now as at November last year, it was about 90 so almost a, a year later it has gone like crazy so it depends on the sector you are in the economy it also depends on this type of stock so you can buy a stock today and maybe this week you get 20 percent or 50 percent 10 percent it's possible it happens there are some time that if you can buy a stock today and maybe it will take months before you see maybe 20 percent or 30 like there's it is not defined so there are so many factors involved which i cannot talk about in this class not like i don't want to talk about it but it will take a lot of time and i'll not be able to answer those questions so there are so many factors involved if you want to learn more i have a book on it the stock market millionaire you can get it so that is it will help you understand what um, things you need to know about. So, like I said, there's so much things involved. I cannot, even if, even if I should give you a free call, that free consultation, it will take hours to start explaining. It. So there are so many, there are a lot of things involved, but when you read the book, you would get clearer understanding and you would know what to do. So you can make, you can start seeing good returns almost immediately. That sometimes it will take some weeks, some months before you see and when to leave or when to maybe like okay, have sufficient returns. It now depends on you. It depends on you. How long? Sorry, where is this one that is sending? Uh, I don't know who is this techno POP, but don't send this link now, please. Thank you. So, um, what was I saying? I've distracted me again. So, like I said, 
it, it depends on when you leave now, it depends on how long, why you are buying the stock. Why you are buying the stock will now determine how long you want to hold the stock on. Let's say, for example, you are buying electric vehicle stock, maybe Tesla. So you are buying it because, okay, EV is the future and everything. So there'll be more demand for the company, the stock will rally. So even if it gets 50%, you still want to hold it as it is for the future. I'm keeping it for maybe next three years or five years, depending on you. So even if after one year, it has gained 100%, you may still want to hold on to it. Because in the last six years, Tesla has grown about 6,000% or so. There's one guy that I know on Twitter. The guy has been buying Tesla. Tesla now is about, I think, $700 or so. The guy has been buying Tesla since when Tesla was about, I think, $12 or so. The guy has just been piling up, piling up, piling up. Why there are other people, they've sold that Tesla. They are okay with their returns and everything. So two different people, two different um, idea. So there's a whole lot involved. Let me uh, stop here so I'll allow other people to ask questions. But from us, I can say that there's so much information there to know when to sell your stock. At times it depends on you. Also, there are some cases that it depends on, like I always say, personal finance. Maybe there's an urgent need. Because the reason why you're investing is to have more money, allow your money to work for you. So maybe there's whether medical emergency or maybe you have an opportunity to travel abroad and you need money and your money is in the stock and you have some returns. You cannot say that ah, because you are investing, you don't want to sell it. Come, take your money and use it. So, so many factors involved in it. So let me end that answer there. Where is that question? Unmute your mic and ask question, please. Okay. Ask a question. Or meet your mic and ask your question. Biko. Oh, you guys want to look at my fine face? I'm fine now. Uh, uh, good evening. I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, good evening, Kinsley. I can hear you. All right, uh, that posted in uh, on the chat. But just to keep on, for me, I've been following you. I've, I've been following you everywhere. I've participated in one of your paid sessions. Please don't uh, kidnap me. You see, Sandra, you've been following me everywhere. <laughs> this whole, this whole stuff, eh? Selecting mm -hmm. stocks is one of the most difficult in that. In fact, I don't even know. I don't even know the best shot to take. At some point, I just had to buy a, a what's it called TIMPOO just to track um, the S&P 500. And the worst okay. case, I just checked my 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 stop my portfolio, and almost two hundred dollars I invested. I'm yet to get up to two dollars eh, for the past two months. Fine, it just helps. Uh, what's it called? Uh, if you want to uh, capital, uh, what do you call it? It's not appreciation now. You just want to sustain your yeah, capital. It's kind of stable. Yeah. But it doesn't uh, appreciate like that much. I, I kind of discovered that the appreciation will come more in crude stocks and, and stuff. But then identifying the specific growth stock to even invest in and all of those things is such a big deal. It's not easy. Okay. okay. Because of so many options on it. So how, how can we narrow this thing down? Like try to use Weibo. Weibo just gives me just use their screen now. It even gets me more confused because I have lots of yeah. options. But to specifically get uh, stocks that one can just really invest, I maybe even do a DCA or another time. I'm not really a quick, uh, I don't really want to jump in and jump out. But something that is reliable that one can, can okay. invest over time. So, what's the guide? Like, what, what, how can we go about it? Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, of the truth, it can be daunting to select stocks. There are thousands of stocks on the market, like thousands, thousands. So one of the things um, I use is 
you need to focus. You need to focus because it's not everything you should buy or you can buy. Even if you have the money, it's not everything. Even Warren Buffett that everybody is praising and everybody is worshiping, it's not all the stocks he has. It's not stocks in all the industry that he has. So you need to define what you want in the sense that you should only invest in an industry or a sector that you understand, that you understand that you know the future of this sector. Example now, I love electric vehicles and that is one of the sectors I'm um, investing in because I kind of understand that sector. I'm comfortable with it. I know where it is going. So first thing is to have an idea of the sector you want to invest in. There's so many sectors. There's electric vehicle, there's um, software, there's um, FinTech, there's health vaccines, there's biotech, biotechnology, there's um, artificial intelligence, there's virtual reality, there's gaming stock, there's cannabis, there is um, food, there's um, um, aero sector, that is plane, there's hotel. So there are stocks in so many sectors. So one thing you should know is understand which sector do you want to invest in. That is the first thing. And how to know the sector to invest in is to know the sector that has future. The sector that has future because you don't want to invest in a sector that is already backdated or that is losing the market. For example, now, if you say you want to invest in a stock that is into cinemas, you can see that with the COVID and everything, cinema may not really gain much ground because you have the likes of Netflix that you can stream things on your phone. So not many people are going to cinema as at before. So except if that company is innovating, that's one thing you should also look at, an innovative company. Is the company innovating? So except if that, uh, that company is innovating that, okay, they are into the theater, cinema um, business, but maybe they are not innovating, they are not incorporating into having a streaming service, and that's an edge. Example now, Disney. Disney is um, the popular famous Disney park and everything. They have a streaming service, Disney Plus. So that one is a plus for them. Disney Plus is a plus for them. So they are kind of gaining ground in the streaming industry and everything. So you need to look at the sector that has future, that has future. and. One of the ways to look at that is to look at the sector that did well during COVID. That's the pointer. I explained all this in my book, that one of the ways to know which sector has future is to look at COVID. When COVID happened, there, are some, there were some sectors that did amazingly well, while there are some sectors that did not do well. One of the major sectors that did not do well was um, hotels, um, airplane and everything. So those sectors that did not do it, it's not as if they don't have future. Example now, airlines were hit the most during COVID because people could not move, so they could not travel. Planes were grounded. But until Jesus will come, people will still be traveling. So even though they were affected during COVID, it doesn't mean they are outdated or that sector will not be relevant. It will continue to be relevant to you generations to come because people will continue to travel no matter how um, online how online you want to be people will still travel people will still want to um, go to Maldives they want to go to Dubai they want to go to for vacation people will still be traveling there will still be need for hotels because when you travel people have to lodge you don't have house there so you need a place to stay that's where um, this um, rental company what's the name um, Airbnb, Airbnb would continue to do well because people would want to. So that is a, an edge. That's where to start from. Look at the sector that will be relevant, that will be in demand because everything falls on demand and supply. It is business. It's a business market. Stock market is company. So if the company is not, if, if, if there's no demand for that product, 
how will they sell, how will they make money? And if they are not making money, how will investors put their money in the company? Because if people only put their money in the company that is that is growing or that has sense of growth. So everything falls onto demand. Like now, electric vehicle, there'll be more demand for because the world is going renewable energy, green energy, and everything. The likes of Tesla, for those who know these companies I want to mention now, NIO and other companies, electric vehicles are gaining more prominence. So there'll be more demand and everything. So it's obvious that electric vehicle is a sector you would want to invest in. FinTech also. So FinTech, they are now taking over by, um, the banking sector in general. Using Nigeria as an example, you can see how successful Flutter Wave is, Paystack, and so many other companies, FinTech companies that are gaining more ground. So FinTech is another sector you may want to look at. That's another sector. So there are so many sectors there. Um, how would I put it? Software, although software is very, very broad. It's very, very broad. Which type of software? So is it broad, possible? Something that would be in demand. And one thing you should look out for is innovation. And this is why the likes of Apple and Microsoft, they will continue to grow well because these companies are innovative. They keep on bringing up new ideas, new technology. They don't want to slack. And that's one of the mistakes BlackBerry and Nokia did. BlackBerry and Nokia, yeah, especially, not, especially Nokia, are the king of mobile. Nobody can... Um, intimidate us with the breeds, yes, we are the king and everything. Apple came and they blew them away the market. They could not innovate. They are struggling to fit into the market that was already going away from them. But the likes of Apple, Microsoft, these guys are continuing innovating. People that were rushing to buy iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone 12 came out. People that were rushing to buy iPhone 12, iPhone 13 was just launched a few days ago. Next year, iPhone 14. Next two years, iPhone 15. So these companies, they keep on innovating, innovating, innovating. So that's one thing you should look out for, a company that is very innovative. Because a company that is innovative, hardly would they be pushed away. Because as the market comes, con they, there's more demand for that service. So that's a guide you should look out for. Which sector do you want to invest in? Invest in a, in a sector that you understand in a sector that you understand. It's not all sector that you should, because you are not, you don't have a, you are not a, um, you are not an analyst that your job is just to study the market. You are here to make money. In as much as you should definitely study so as to know where you are putting your money in. But if you, you are just an analyst and you are not making money, no. So there's some sector that you should just ignore. Not like they are not good or so on the board. You don't need it. You don't need to be everywhere. You cannot buy everything. So you just, pick few sectors that you understand, that you have an idea in. That's a proof that they don't have idea of the cannabis or the weed industry. They don't have idea of it. They don't know what is going on there. And you want to buy stock in weed. You may lose money because you don't understand. You don't know what is even going on. So you cannot defend. So even if the stock is down, you, you don't even know why it is down. Or you cannot defend to know that ah, is this maybe this company is trash or something. So invest in a sector that you understand that you can easily explain. Now, you don't really need to be a guru or an analyst that you're saying for, but at least you have an idea of what is going on in that sector. You have an idea of where this sector is going or what is it. You just have an idea. You know what it's all about. Then you cannot look at, okay, which, which companies are the leading companies in this industry or which companies are the one that would um, get more demand of the of investors because the biggest companies will definitely have the lion's share. It's just typical basic um, understanding. The bigger the company, the company that has bigger bigger market share in the particular sector, there will be more demand and everything. And investors will tend to go towards there and everything. So that's what you should look at for. Understand the sector you want to invest in. Then also uh, look for the, not necessarily the biggest, but when you have an understanding of the sector, then you can now go deeper down, okay, which company would I invest in? 
they now study the company, look at the management, the financials, or some so you have an idea of what this company is doing and everything. Uh, we they do they have tendency to be profitable and everything. Well, don't let me <laughs> because I continue talking now. I'll not answer other people. But I hope you understand the my analysis now. So any other question? I have Josh. a question. Okay, please ask, Philip. Yeah, I just want to ask about um, China stock versus US stock. Um, okay. With this, their war trade between them, what will you say about China stocks? Okay. So, concerning China, I'll use a popular Nigerian slang. Hey, Google, be careful. Now, I express the they go. That would be the answer. Hey, Google, be careful. So, not like Chinese are bad, but you need to be very, as much as possible, except if you are a pro, that you really understand what you are doing. Just avoid Chinese stocks. Avoid it. Not like they are bad, but Chinese, they are, it's not, it's not a democratic nation. So, it's not a democratic nation. So, the, the head can, just spin out of time. For those who are observant or for those who heard about it, at the point last year, Chinese, the Chinese government were kind of messing up with Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba. So whether they were trying to, like there was kind of a war between them. So it affected the stock and everything. So most times Chinese, they are unreliable, let me put it that way. They are not reliable at all, at all. So anything can just happen. The government, just like the way Buhari is doing with our country now, that tomorrow you can just wake up and say, ban cryptocurrency. Next tomorrow you will come and say, ban this, ban that, or just bring one crazy policy that will just scatter everything. Similar, similar way, that's how Chinese is. Chinese, they don't use Facebook, they don't use Twitter, they don't use Google. They have their own social media platform. So it is controlled, everything is controlled by the president. So the head is correct. So as much as possible, avoid Chinese because the country can just wake up one morning and just do one clamp down or someone do one crazy thing. And the US stock market is very, very reactive. You no, know, it's very, very sensitive. Any small thing like this, bam, is already affecting the stock. And this month is already affecting the market. So as much as possible, avoid Chinese stuff, except if you know what you are doing. But as much as possible, you are starting out as well as possible, avoid Chinese stuff. So that is my answer. I hope you, um, I hope I answered the question. Next, Don Josh. Yeah, good evening, Nathaniel. Thank you for all your views. Yeah, good evening. I Thank you. Yeah, my question is what I observe. Most times when um, companies pay dividends, before you know the stock kind of start crashing or start going down. Why is that so? Can you give me any reasons for that? Because I believe they could have known that, okay, this is the profit we are having and this is the quantity we are sharing. And this should be left for trading, but most time when the dividend is paid, you just see the stock, stock going down. So I okay. appreciate your answer. Yeah. Okay. Although I talked, I explained this in my book, then just give you an idea of why it's stock down. So when dividends are paid, the stock tends to go down. So as to maybe get um, let's say entice, let me use that word, to entice more investors. Because dividend is paid because the company has made profits that are giving dividends to their shareholders. So a part of the company's profit is being paid out. So the stock would definitely go down. You are making money. Apart from holding average shares in the company, you are also getting some dividends. So most times, it always go down after it's been paid. So like, like I said, more like to entice, let's use that word, to entice more investors. So that's been paid, it goes down. Some people buy if they're interested in the company, and when is that paying dividend, it goes down. So, so some sentiment says that. So it's really down. That is 
will I say is a norm. Once dividends are paid, the stock tends to go down. So that's just it's, it's just a norm. The stock tends to go down. Israel. Israel a dupuki. The reason up beyond ask a question. Abizia doesn't want to answer ask. On me to ask your question. And if it says not ready, I mean that person can ask. Yeah, good evening everybody. Okay, good evening. Yeah. Yeah, you talk about a Chinese stock the other the other time. Sorry? I said you talk about the Chinese stock and the US stock the other time and I have a question that I want to ask. Okay. So it was because I really love EV stock markets. And uh, yeah, even in stock markets. Okay, let's check the goods. Okay. Yeah. And the last okay. time I read about now, because there, nah, there's yeah. a kind of, and I don't really understand between, because there's a two stock markets in China that is running now, and the other one, I've forgotten them, which whereby the government want them to partner together. And I check of recent about the now stock, and the stock price is reducing, and I'm very confused. I don't know. You can just enlighten me more on the Nile stock. Normally, I bought the Nile stock for a long time investment, but due to the way you said China stock is more is very more at risk, and it needs someone that is more professional. Uh, please, I want you to just please explain more to me. Okay, thank you. So, like I said about um China stocks or Chinese general, that you need to be very about it. Now for Nile. Nayo is more like an exception in a way, in a way more like an exception because the Chinese government is backing Nayo up. Like the Chinese government is backing Nayo up. So the Chinese are supporting Nayo. So and Nayo is the last is the biggest um, Chinese EV company. Yeah, the biggest and the most popular Chinese EV company. But one of one of the reasons why the stock is has been down for some time, one of the reasons why is because of what I said about Chinese. Investors are kind of wary about China because in as much as the government is backing up the company, what if tomorrow maybe the CEO of the company go and insult the president or go and do something and the president now scatter everything? So that is and normally I would have invested in Nile, but that is just one of the reasons why I'm just even not like Nayo is bad. You can still make your money in Nayo because people are still projecting that yes, Nayo would go up and not just up in shape, but it will be big and everything compete to Tesla and all those stuff. So it now depends on how long you are buying the stock. Because mostly all EV stocks are still at the early stage. So it will, you can still hold them for years to come and everything now depending on your your um how your finance is like in terms of your allocation like maybe um the how I put it now your portfolio size or something like how long do you want to hold on to it now depends on you but like I said for China investors are always really about China because the governments are not reliable not trustworthy something like that so they can just wake up tomorrow there's one clamp down or something that it would affect. One perfect example, there's one company that listed on the stock market a few months ago. It's called Didi. I think they're a toy company. I can't remember what they're trying to, but they got listed on the stock market. Almost immediately, like just a few days after, the stock was just going down and everything. Like there was a kind of clamp down or whatever. The company had to go private back. So they went public to release their shares to the public, but because of so much drama and something, they had to go private. So there's so much uncertainty with China and Chinese. So that's why generally investors are kind of worried about it. But it doesn't mean you are going to lose your money in Nile. No, it doesn't mean Nile will not still do well. They will still do well, but now it depends on 
you. So, like I said, Nayo is kind of an exception because the government is really backing. Just look at how maybe Dangote is now. Something like there's kind of backing and everything that the largest, so something like that. So that's that with Nayo. I hope I've answered the question. Yes, sir. Thanks very much. Yeah, so who's next? Question, question, question. Nobody wants to ask question. Nobody wants to ask me question. Okay. I'll be looking at my face. We are muted. I've tried to unmute everyone. Ask all of you to unmute. I've unmuted everyone. Okay, Phillips. Kendi, I'm unmuting you. Okay, good evening. Yeah, my question is I said it to the chat. I don't know if you saw it. Like, how do I how know do I the companies, like, for instance, if the companies now to invest, is it that they are listed in the app or do I go and search for them online and make my decision on which companies? Okay, so you have to do your research because there are so many EV companies. So it's not left for you to do your research on the companies you are interested in. Like on Bamboo now, there's a kind of guide, like there's a, let's say all these grouping, so they kind of some uh, industries. In Electricals, there's a kind of so that some stocks like not necessarily re recommendation, but they just who did that for the electric vehicle. These are some stocks, and there. So you can just do your own research, do your own research, you know which company you are interested in, which company would based on your research, you know which one is good or which one you feel is as future, something like that. So there are many there's Tesla, Lucid, Nio, so many, there's Ford, there's General Motors, so many companies. So okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Who has asked question? I just want to say thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your time. Exactly. Mentorship, something. Techno POV. Tell us about mentorship in smart. Good evening, sir. Mean that. Is somebody walking? Please ask your question. Okay, Techno POP, tell us about mentorship in stock market. Do you mean you want um you want to join my mentorship group or what? Let me get a question. They are muted. I mute. I omit. I will omit everybody. I've omitted you. Yeah, good evening. Question. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, I, I'm sorry again. I want to ask a question. Please ask. Please ask. Okay, and uh, yeah, I've. 
been into this talk and um, I don't really understand. I understand a little bit about a fundamental analysis, but it, it is in two forms, which whereby it is fundamental analysis and a technical analysis. And I had to ask, how can someone understand a technical analysis? And whereby I've been reading some books, but I'm not yet glad about it technical analysis and there are many kind of stock and many news where people say about fundamental analysis and they said the best trader or an investment is someone that knows how to understand the technical analysis okay so talking about technical analysis now to invest in the stock market it is not compulsory and put that way it's not compulsory you know how to read charts it's not compulsory now for those who do crypto and everything they need to read charts or those who do forex for stocks you can read charts too but it is not this i say it's not compulsory that for example now someone that is investing in maybe um a company for let's say the next five years don't necessarily need because technical analysis and charts helps you if you are a trader if you are mm-hmm. trading Okay. Now, if you are investing, it doesn't mean you don't still need it, but it's more like an largely added advantage because mm-hmm. with technical analysis and with charts, it helps you determine how best, make, um, take note of my word, how best to enter a stock and sell. So to use technical analysis, it means you want to be a trader, you want to buy a stock, you want to sell, you want to monitor price movements, price movements. So you are buying a stock, you are selling it, you wait for it to dip, you are buying, you are selling and everything. So it helps you because with technical analysis, you are reading the charts. You are trying to understand the charts to know about price movements. So it to get to, to, get to stage that when you are analyzing the charts, you can easily predict that, okay, this stock is about to go down. Let me sell my shares or this stock is about to go up, let me buy into it. So it helps you to know that. And also it helps you to know if, okay, there is still room for this stock to go up, don't let me sell yet. It will still go up, it will go up. Then also maybe ah, it already reached a kind of, let's say, um, peak. It's called resistance, something like that. So at this point, it's likely to drop. If it doesn't pass this price, it's likely to drop. So let me sell my shares and everything. So it's not compulsory. It's not compulsory, but if you know how to reach charts, if you know how to analyze charts, it's more like an added advantage, but it's not the main thing. Now, if you are trading, like you want to be a trader in itself, please, you would need technical analysis because you are trading. So you are buying a stock for short-term gains. Mostly traders is for short-term gains. Maybe you buy a stock and maybe tomorrow you want to sell it or maybe next week you want to sell it it's usually for short-term gains so you need to understand the price movement to know when to sell when to buy when to cut your losses like i said it's, it's technical so it's not something you can you usually use to explain so if you want to be a trader like you want to trade short-term trading what and learn about technical analysis it, it will help you but if an investor like you're buying to old for years or something or for a long time. It doesn't mean you will not need it, but it's not compulsory. Like it is optional. All right. For investors, think analysis is optional. If you know how to use it, all well and good. It's more like added bonus, but it's not the main thing. But if you are trading, it is the main thing. You cannot do without telling analysis if you're a trader. You cannot do without analyzing charts if you're a trader. So that is it. Okay, thank you, sir. And I'm sorry again. I want, I want to ask a question. Just an advice. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. A final question, okay. sir, to allow us to ask. Okay, okay, yeah. I want you to just explain more about autonomy AV. Okay, autonomy AV or EV. It is AV, electric vehicle is EV, autonomy vehicle are AV, which whereby a self-driving car. Okay, self, self-driving car. Um, yes. Well, most, like most of future self-driving cars tend to be electric, tend to be. 
So self-driving car is a future um, something. So it's more like the, it's driverless car. So with self-driving, you need sensors, so many. So and that sensor itself is another industrial on its own. It's okay. another industry on its own. So there's, you need sensor because the car is driving itself. So it needs to read sensor to know where there's of, um, obstacle and all those things. So that is a sector on its own. Um, self-driving cars, you need LIDAR. LIDAR is a kind of technology and so many. So that is another sector on its own. So you can go online to learn more about self-driving sector. Okay. Yeah, thanks, sir. Yeah, that is yeah. enough. I really so, sir. Yeah. Olori asked a question. Um, good evening, oh, sorry, sir. Man. Yeah, good evening. Thank yeah. you so much for your teaching. I'm, I, I want to understand something. I keep hearing that it's best to in, invest in stocks for the long term and that even when the market swings that over time that it pays off. Now, that's where my question is that now, if today the market does 100% and tomorrow it goes down and it keeps doing like that, keeps doing like that. So now what's the, um, how does the profits now that you have gathered over the years, how do they accumulate to eventually pay off in the long run? Is it like there's a system that automatically saves the profit you have made so far? Or because I actually get confused. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So as with everything in the stock market, it is not black and white. Most times it is gray. So is you can you can't just say that this is this this is that you would need to it's just more like um let's say doctor so i go to the hospital now and i tell the doctor that i'm not feeling fine the next thing he's saying that i should lie down i want to cut my body for surgery no even if i say i'm not feeling fine it cannot just determine what is wrong with me it cannot know which medication to give me so he would now ask me question that okay what is wrong with you Okay, I say I'm having a headache. Okay, headache is a big thing in sign of what is wrong with me. Okay, you're having a headache. Are you, is your temperature hot? My temperature is hot. Okay, maybe it's malaria. You can now run some tests. Maybe he runs a test. He sees that uh, it is not malaria. It is something worse than that. He now runs on that test. So with the test and the everything, it will help the doctor know what is wrong with me and know which medication to give me. So even if I say I'm not feeling fine, you can't just start giving me drugs because I'm not feeling fine. There are so many things. It can be, no, don't let me say what I'm saying, because it's bad thing. So it can be different thing that is wrong with you. So you will not be asking me questions. What is wrong? Okay, I'm having body pains. Where are you having body pain is here? Okay, did you sleep? So, so many questions. So concerning what you said, it is not black and white. There are so many factors that is involved. Now, a stock may be going up as high as 100%. Are now going down again. Is a different. There's different factors involved. It could be that that's because most times it now depends on the sector. You now, like I said at the beginning, it depends on the sector. which also depends on the type of stock. So there's something called pump and dump. Not just in stock markets, even in crypto, there's something pump called pump and dump. So pump and dump is when um, big players in the industry. They are called whales. So they have big money, like millions of dollars. They can influence the market. So they have millions of dollars, tens of millions. So they can usually inflate. So they kind of, will I say, inflate the stock, the price of a particular stock, just makes some gains. So the stock will just experience rapid increase. Then once they reach their desired target, they sell it. Now, they will not tell you that they are selling because everybody is for their own pocket. So if you just see a rapid increase in the stock, it goes up. They remove their money out, it falls back. So there are some stocks that you see that you just see rapid increase, maybe at times 70%, just crazy returns. It will surely fall back. So now it depends on the kind of stock you are buying. That would help to know if this is because this because yeah. yeah. Sounds like it's on. 
please can you unmute can you mute your mic so there are so many factors involved i can't just say this is why um that okay because this stock went up and it went down it means the bad stock no it doesn't mean it's the bad stock it could also mean that the stock is maybe in a bear market for example okay the bull market stocks are generally going up in the bear market some stocks are going down so now the stock that i say maybe it's increased by 100 percent or 80 percent it now depends on the stock, depends on the company and everything. Because it's not all stocks that you should hold for long. There are some stocks that are just best for trading in the sense that it goes up, it falls again. It consolidates for a while, it's stable, stable. Before you need to go up, it's not. So if you are investing in that stock, maybe you are just holding it. You'll be losing all your gains. Because it has gone up, it has like maybe you've lost all the gains, it will go up again. So when you understand that this particular stock, it would, it is always a pump and dump, it will go up, go down. So you know that this stock, I should not just be holding it for a while. So let's say it has gone up, I sell it, knowing that it will come down again. Then maybe it comes down. If not that, um, I wish I could share my screen. I would show you, okay, on the WhatsApp group, before I, um, on the WhatsApp group, I'm going to send some screenshots of a particular stock. You would see the rapid increase and decrease. So you see that the um, chart is somehow flat. You just see rapid, like a spike. It just went up crazy before you know it has gone back down again. Then at the period again to go up, go down again. So that, when you in that trend, you know that so I should join because if you don't know this, so that can is just for a pump and dump. It's just a most companies that even if they go up and they come down, they would go up again. So it's just, there are different factors to determine if this is some long term or it does determine why. This might be our games like and okay, another example. Now, if you buy a stock and the stock increases by let's say 100 percent in less than a week, expect that stock to go down. It is not magic. How do you want to make 100 percent within a few days? It will go down because definitely you're not the only one in the market, there are other players there. So imagine if, example, now I put, let's say, $300,000 in a stock and it gives me 100% within a few days. That is about $600,000. I will take my profits off. I'm not going to leave my money there. No matter what, getting $300,000 extra. I'll take my profits off. So you that maybe you have, let's say, $200 now. You, can, you, just, you put your money, you're still waiting. You just like that, it's gone down. You are not the only one in the market. There are bigger players there. So we, we are called retail investors. Retail investors. There are institutions, big players that have millions of dollars in the stock. Too. So you are not the only one involved. There are so many thousands of millions of people involved in the stock. too. So you cannot determine what the next person will do. So there are so many factors involved, which is beyond the scope of this class. It will take a whole lot of discussion again because we start dissecting just like I gave the doctor example, we start dissecting. How are you feeling? Okay, you're having a dick, this, this, that, to now know and give advice. So that will be a longer discussion. But from what I explained, you should know that there are so many factors involved. Let me just put it that way. So many factors involved. I hope my So we ask questions. Before to round up. Okay, I think I saw one question in the songs asking, okay, about the mentorship program. Okay. Um, I have a premium community, more like my mentorship community. It's called Pearl Investment Club. Let me just type it so you hear what I'm saying. So that is where I kind of mentor people 
or that's my life community do. Okay, Phillips, muted. Okay, about ETF. Okay, ETF is a type of, um, it's more like a collection. So let me, the example I usually use. So um, let's say smoothies now, smoothies. So there are different varieties of smoothies, but let's, smoothies generally is mixture of different fruits that is blended together, right? So now, now depends on the, so maybe you have banana, and pineapple or so many fruits together that they blend. So that is, so when you take a smoothie, for example, and you drink one cup, even if it's in a cup, you are taking a mixture of carrots, orange, pineapple, apple, um, watermelon together at once. Because obviously if they say you should eat watermelon, pineapple, apple, orange, and uh, maybe banana together. You cannot finish everything. You get that. But when you blend everything together, even just one cup, you are taking bits of this. So that's what ETF is. It's more like a collection of different stocks in a particular sector, in a particular sector. Just like the way you have maybe banana and carrot smoothie. You can have guava and orange smoothie like there are different variables, variants of smoothies with different flavor and different people. So some persons might say, okay, I prefer banana and carrot. I don't like guava and orange. So different smoothies, different variants. So that's how it is with ETFs. It's called exchange traded fund. So most times, most times, if you are unsure of which stock to buy, you can buy an ETF. So for example, you want to invest in a particular sector, let's say cannabis sector, you want to buy wheat stock, Ibo, you want to buy wheat stock. And maybe you, you've tried doing your research and everything, you are not really sure of which company to pick, but you believe in that industry, you believe in that sector, you know that yes, this sector is possible. You are caught between options, you don't know which stock to buy in that industry, you can just buy the ETF. So the ETF is a collection of different stocks in a particular industry. So it's more like a collection. So it's more, it gives you kind of the average, in mathematics, they call, it's they call mean, uh, mean media mode. So it's more like the median, the average of so many stocks in a particular industry. It gives you that. So if you buy an ETF, instead of you buying individual stock, I don't buy an ETF. So how the sector is performing, you get, because of the truth, in a particular sector now, this stock may be up and this stock is down and are both in the same sector. It's possible, it's common. Then the same sector, in the same sector, but this one is up, this one is down. But if you buy the ETF, it gives you the average of the two. So this one is up, this one is down, this one is up, this one is down. The average of the sector. So there are different ETFs. There's ETF in cannabis sector. There's ETF in, okay, I'll answer your question, Paul. There's ETF in tech. There's ETF in cybersecurity, cloud computing. These sectors, there are ETFs. There's the NASDAQ ETF. So NASDAQ are tech-based stocks. So let's say you want to invest in the tech industry, but you don't know which stock to buy. You look at the NASDAQ, you buy the NASDAQ ETF. So all the stocks that are listed on that ETF. Now, in NASDAQ, you can have like, three different ETFs in one sector is possible. Just like smoothies now, you can have banana, orange and carrot smoothie. You can have banana, watermelon and apple smoothie. You can have banana, guava and um, kiwi smoothie. So even though banana is common, it's not the same flavor. So in a particular ETF, you can have maybe seven different stocks in that ETF. In another ETF, you can, like it's just mixture. So to know which ETF to buy, you look at the, sec the stocks that are under a, part a particular ETF, SH traded fund. You look at the stocks there, then it cannot give an idea that, okay, these stocks, okay, 
I like these stocks and anything, but I don't know which one to pick. Let me buy this stock and let me buy this ETF. So there are different ETFs in different industry, different sector, and there are multiple ETFs in a particular sector. So that's it. So I hope I've answered your question. Okay, what platform do you use to purchase your stock? I use Bamboo. So Bamboo is the app I use to invest in stock. So answering my earlier question, so the investment club is a um is a subscription based community. So it's usually six months, twice a year, January and July, to get um that's when we accept new intake. Although there's the last one we're doing for to the end of the year, three months is twenty thousand. So the actual subscription is thirty five thousand for six months. Thirty five thousand for six months. Then there's twenty thousand for three months. Well, I did to the end of the year. We just like because people are asking that open it, open it, open it. Okay, let us open it regularly. It's just twice a year, January and June, January and June. But said that okay. Let us open it to December. Then after December, the next six months. So the six months is 35,000, three months is 20,000. So if you want to join, I'll send the um, link in the group, give you details about it for the person that is interested, that is asking me, what is his name again? Um, Osareme and Techno POP. So, that's it. Does anybody have any other question? Only eight people. So I guess we should start rounding up now. There were 15 before, but now eight. So most people are going. Final question before I round up. Final question before I round up. And if nobody has a question, we can call it a day. Any other question? Anyone? By 19, we are ending. So two minutes to go. Anyone, anyone, anyone? What are the basics to look out for before buying a stock? It's a whole lot of discussion and time will not permit me. Okay, let me just give tips. You look at the management, can, um, look at the left on the left, then also the financial, study the market, the market share. Um, the market capitalization, the share price. There are so many things to involve. I talked about all this in my book. You can get that stock market millionaire. You can get that. It explains everything in details. But just to highlight, you need to know about the management, those who run the company. You need to know about the business. Do you understand the business? Do you understand it? You would know how well the company will fare. Then the financials. To ensure that the financial the company is there to make profit. So if the financial is rushed, people will not invest. Then the future projection of the company is it in a sector that is profitable, that would be relevant. So so many things to consider to know which stock to buy. You can get my book, it explains all that in details. So final seconds to go. 929. One hour, 13 minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed the class, Sha. So 9.30, thank you guys for joining and have a good evening. So thank you, thank you. Stop. Yeah. Thank you guys. Okay. How do you do, how do you, Analyze with the market. Okay, with bamboo, bamboo will not help you to analyze. Bamboo is more for buying and selling. Just that is more like your account. 
So if you want to analyze a stock, maybe chart analysis, you can use Webull or Trading View. I'll send it in the group chat. So you can send uh, check Trading View, Trading View, then analyze the stock. Then Webull. This one are best for charts, like maybe um, technical analysis or something. But for bamboo, you cannot analyze bamboo. Bamboo just give you 